Hello friends, welcome to YouTube channel Electronics for You. Friends, in this video, I will explain current divider rule or also known as current division rule. So, uh, current divider rule is generally used whenever there is a parallel circuit and you can apply here for the parallel circuit. So, this is one example of parallel circuit where three resistances R1, R2 and R3 are connected in parallel because they are having two common nodes A and B here and supply voltage V is applied here. The current flowing through this is I and in this case again as you can see Current divider rule allows us to calculate the current flowing through each parallel resistor branch as a part of total current. So in current divider rule, we can calculate individual current. So let us consider that this is total current I and current flowing through these branches be I1, I2 and I3 respectively. So here as per the rule of parallel circuit, total current I is equals to I1 plus I2 plus I3. That is sum of all individual currents is equal to total current. Where I1, this is the current I1, it is equals to V upon R1, V is our supply voltage. Similarly, I2 equals to V upon R2 and I3 equal to V upon R3. Now we know that total current I is equal to V upon R equivalent. Therefore, V is equal to I times R equivalent. Therefore, V equal to I times R equivalent. If you put V equals to I into R equivalent here, you will get and and r equivalent 1 upon r equivalent is equals to 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r3 therefore r equivalent is equals to 1 upon this term and if we put these two, two values here we will get i1 is equals to v upon r1 which is equals to i times r equivalent over r1 where R equivalent is nothing but this concept, this term and I2 will be equal to V upon R2 which is I times R equivalent upon R2. Similarly, I3 equal to I times R equivalent upon R3. Now this is current divider rule where you can calculate individual currents I1, I2, I3 by using total current I, R equivalent that is equivalent resistance and individual resistances. So let us talk about the current divider rule for two branches. Now we uh, here is the circuit. This is R1, this is R2 and the current flowing th through them are I1 and I2 respectively. The total current is again considered as I and supply voltage is V. Here in this case R equivalent can be calculated by using same formula that is 1 upon R equivalent is equals to 1 upon R1 plus 1 upon R2. Now this can be simplified as this is R1 into R2 in numerator divided by R1 plus R2 in denominator. This is 1 upon R equivalent and therefore R equivalent equal to sorry here it is R1 plus R2 in numerator and in denominator we will get it as R1 plus R2. Now uh, it is the value of R equivalent that is 1 upon R equivalent and therefore if we uh, take a reciprocal of this we will get R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2 which is R equivalent. 
and by using the formula again here i1 is equals to i times r equivalent upon r1 this is the formula that we have already calculated if we put r equivalent to this term then we will get this i1 is equals to i times r1 r2 divided by r1 plus r2 over r1 now this r1 and this r1 will get cancelled and therefore i1 will be equal to i times r2 over r1 plus r2 note note here that it is i1 and uh, in numerator we are putting r2 here by using same concept we will get i2 equal to now you can assume that you can just think over it and you can calculate formula for i2 that is i times r1 will be here in numerator over r1 plus r2 in denominator so this is current divider rule for uh, for the circuit which are having two branches now let us solve the problem here find the current flowing through each register now this is the circuit given again it is a circuit which is having two branches and uh, let us find the solution for this let us assume that the current flowing through this uh, 3 ohm resistance is i1 and the current flowing through this 8 ohm resistance be i2 let this is r1 and let this resistance be r2 now by using uh, formula for i1 it will be i times r2 divided by r1 plus r2 and therefore if we put the values here we will get i1 equal to now the value of r1 the value of r2 is 8 ohm so 8 divided by r1 plus r2 that is 3 plus 8 times i i the value of i is 12 ampere here note note that we know the supply current uh, total current directly we don't know the supply voltage here even we can calculate it but in this case i1 is equals to 8 over 3 plus 8 equal to uh, into 12 which will be equal to 8.727 ampere so this is the current i1 in the same way i2 is equals to r i times r1 divided by r1 plus r2 by using this formula and putting value here we will get uh, 12 12 ampere as our current then r1 is 3 over again 3 plus 8 in denominator which will be equal to in this case it is 3.273 ampere now note here that by adding this two current that is 8.7237 and 3.273 we get 12 ampere that is our total current so this current is equals to sum of this current th sum of these uh, individual currents i1 and i2 also note that in 8 ohm resistance that is i2 through 8 ohm resistance less current is flowing whereas for less resistance that is in this case r1 that is 3 ohm resistance more current is flowing so more resistance less current will flow this is the simple rule in this case so uh, we have calculated uh, here the current flowing through each uh, resistor by using current divider rule now let us talk about uh, where should we use current uh, divider rule so whenever two or more circuit elements are connected in parallel with the voltage source or current source we can use current divider rule but more importantly when the total current and equivalent resistance are known then current divider rule should be used 
to determine the individual branch current note here that i am talking about when total circuit current and equivalent resistance if you know the equivalent resistance and if you know the total current in the circuit then try to use current divider rule because calculation of current through individual individual branches is very very simple by using ohms law so instead of uh, this if you know the total current that is i i total or uh, just we call it as i then you can use the current divider rule also we can use current divider rule to divide the current into the fractional currents for example if you are having a 12 ampere current and if you want to send this into three different branches say a 4 ampere current to one branch then 2 ampere current to another branch then 6 ampere current to another branch at this uh, time you can use current divider rule so that the current can be divided now let us solve one more problem here so this is our problem number two here three branches are given and again we have to find the sorry it, it should be find the current through each register find the current through each register using current division rule so you should use current division rule it is given now supply voltage is given and total current is not given therefore you can calculate it but in this case individual current can be easily calculated by you uh, can be easily calculated by using ohms law but as uh, it is mentioned that we have to use the current division rule to calculate uh, the current therefore uh, we must use the current divider rule here now in this case again let this be i1 let the current flowing through this 20 ohm resistance be i2 and the current flowing through this is that is a 50 ohm resistance be i3 respectively let this is r1 now this resistance that is 20 ohm resistance is r2 and a 50 ohm resistance is r3 now the formula for i1 calculation of i1 by using current division rule is i1 equal to i times r equivalent upon r1 now note that you don't know the value of i also you don't know r equivalent therefore we must calculate r equivalent as well as i first so let us calculate uh, the r equivalent first r equivalent can be calculated by using formula 1 upon r equivalent equal to 1 upon r1 plus 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r3 now 1 upon r equivalent equal to 1 upon r1 is 1 upon 10 ohm 1 upon r2 is 1 upon 20 plus it is 1 upon 50 ohm therefore we get r equivalent equal to just put it into calculator and solve it we will get r equivalent equal to 100 over 17 it is 100 over 17 or you can uh, put the fraction value here that is 5.88 ohm similarly total current i can be calculated by using formula i is equals to v upon r equivalent v upon r equivalent here now v is 100 ohm in this case and r equivalent we have just calculated it as 100 over 17 and this 100 and 100 get cancelled 1 upon 17 will become 17 and therefore it is 
17 ampere i that is total current is equals to 17 ampere now by using formula we get i1 is equals to i times r equivalent into r1 therefore in this case i i is 17 ampere then it is r equivalent which is again 100 over 17 i'm deliberately uh, putting this value here and r1 is uh, here 10 ohm now this 17 and 17 get cancelled 100 over 10 is equal to 10 ampere so i1 is equal to 10 ampere here similarly i2 is having formula i is equals to r equivalent upon r2 and here again in this case i is 17 ampere r equivalent is 100 over 17 and again r2 is here you can see it is 20 so again this 17 and 17 will get cancel 100 over 20 is equal to 5 ampere so i2 is 5 ampere similarly i3 is equals to i times r equivalent upon r3 which is equals to 17 times 100 over 17 and value of i r, r, r3 is 50 ohm in this case and which will be equal to 2 ampere so in this way we can calculate i1 i2 and i3 again note here that the sum of this uh, current is equals to total current but here uh, we are using current divider rule because it was given otherwise you can directly calculate current uh, I1, I2 and I3 by using Ohm's law. For example, V upon R1 is the value of I1 which is equal to 100 over 10 which is equal to 10 ampere. So in this way we can calculate I1. Similarly, I2 and I3 also can be calculated by simple formula that is Ohm's law. Thank you. And friends, if you like this video, please subscribe our channel and press the bell icon for notification. And like, comment and share. Thank you.